again, it's picked up by the mosquito, the microfilaria in the blood. And it shows a periodicity. If you look at the blood of an infected person during the day, the peripheral blood, it looks like there's nothing there. At night, it can be swarming with microfilaria. Because it will come out at night when the mosquito is most likely to bite. They pick up the microfilaria and then spread it to other people when it bites them. And the adult lives in the lymphatic system and can block the drainage, which can cause the swelling on this. Filariasis has an insidious onset. It can affect the lungs. It just causes massive swelling. And um, the worst case scenario, you know, I'm sure everybody's heard of elephantiasis. Elephantiasis is an extreme thickening of the skin and underlying tissue. <gasps> That's probably the worst case scenario. Its life cycle begins inside a mosquito. When the mosquito bites a human, hundreds of tiny larvae swarm into the bloodstream. Next, they travel to the lymphatic system, a crucial network in the human body. The lymphatic system is a series of tubes that drain fluid out of your tissues. So if you ever have swelling in your fingers or in your hands, the way that that fluid gets back out into the bloodstream is by the lymphatic system. Undetected in the lymphatic system, they grow into adult worms three to four inches long. The adult worms mate and produce even more larvae. These microscopic larvae leave the safety of the lymph vessels and nodes to invade other parts of the body. During the day, they lie low in the lungs, but at night, the drop in our body temperature triggers the larvae to move out of the lungs to their next destination. For the life cycle to be completed, the larvae have to be picked up by a mosquito. So what the parasite does is move close to the lungs during the day and then migrate out towards the skin at night where they'll get picked up by a mosquito. And that daily migration is timed by the natural sleep rhythms of the host. The unsuspecting mosquito transports the larvae to a new host and the life cycle repeats itself. Tim's most severe symptoms began after tangled bits of dead worms plugged up his lymphatic system. Lymph fluid built up in his legs and testicles and leaked out of his pores. Filariasis affects 120 million people worldwide, mostly in the tropics. If you're traveling to a region where filariasis is common, a little bit of prevention can go a long way. Use insect repellent and mosquito netting at night. <laughs>